Hi everyone, Alex here with a couple of words ahead of this, the final episode of the Magnus Archives. Firstly, we wanted to take a moment to thank everyone who helped us get here. All the cast, crew, volunteers, fans and friends we've had working with us over the years. Making something on this scale is only ever possible when a huge number of dedicated people work together. So thank you. Secondly, we wanted to thank you, the listener. If you're hearing this, then you have probably listened to a lot of the Magnus Archives. It has been an honour coming on this journey with you, and we hope you'll stick around and join us on other shows across the RQ network. That's all for now. Thank you so much from everyone at Rusty Quill, and we hope you enjoy the final instalment of the Magnus Archives. Rusty Quill presents The Magnus Archives Episode 160 The Eye Opens Everything all right? Just making sure it works. Still don't think we should have brought it. Oh, it's better than no warning at all. Mm. Especially if I'm trying not to uh, see things, you know. I guess. You're unpacked then? Hmm? Oh, yes. Much as I can without any wardrobes to speak of, at least. Yeah, it's, it's not exactly the Ritz. Well, it technically still belongs to Daisy, so I'm just glad it's not some sort of kill room. Or, or it is, and she just cleaned it up really well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are we... Are we safe here? Safe as anywhere else. If Elias wanted to find us, I imagine he could, but I doubt the police would be able to. If nothing else, I'm hoping there'd be some jurisdiction complications in Scotland or so, something. Somehow I don't think Daisy will be worried about jurisdictions. I I don't think she'd come here. Doesn't look like this place has been used for years. And if she does? Well, at least we'll know where she is. <laughs> Besides, I'm more worried about the other hunters. Or the, the Sasha thing. Last I heard, they still hadn't found any bodies. A lot of destruction, a lot of blood, but that's it. You think they're still out there? Hopefully a long way out there. But I think we're okay. Not much in the way of food, is there? Oh, no, not yet. I was actually going to head down into the village to go pick something up. Hmm. Maybe give Basira a call to check in, because Daisy apparently couldn't pick a safe house with a signal. I think that's rather the point. Mm. Anyway, don't tell me the phone box down there doesn't appeal to your retro aesthetic. It might. Maybe. You'll be okay here? I'll be fine. How was she? Oh, same as last week. Institute still crawling with police. I mean, they've finished all the interviews. Apparently they're calling it a terror attack. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Appropriate, in a way. Mm. Does she know who they're looking to blame? They're not really talking to her about it. Sectioned or not, I guess ex-police only gets you so far. Mm. Does she know if they've found the old prison yet? The Panopticon, uh, like Magnus's body? I don't know how hard they're looking, to be honest. Basira says a few of them got lost in the tunnels for over a day, and it's not like the promise of an old man's corpse is much of a motivator. Mm. Still, she did manage to talk them out of burning the whole place to the ground. Oh, ah, actually, that reminds me. Um, ah, these, these are the statements? Uh, yes. Basira said last week she'd send some up as soon as the archives weren't a crime scene. Yes. Uh, she wasn't sure which one she'd read already, so she, she just said she'd send a bunch. There's tapes in here as well, 
Did she say anything about tapes? She didn't mention it, but I didn't check it till after the call. Mm. I assume it's her attempt at a, a, a varied diet, eating your greens, you know? <laughs> Probably. I'm sure it'll work fine. Cool. Well, as fun as listening to you monologue is, mm. I will give you some privacy. Go for a walk. Let me know if you see any good cows. Uh, obviously, I'm going to tell you if I see any good cows. <laughs> The Magnus Archives is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. Today's episode was written by Jonathan Sims and directed by Alexander J. Newell. To subscribe, view associated material, or join our Patreon, visit RustyQuill.com. Rate and review us online, tweet us at TheRustyQuill, Visit us on Facebook or email us at mail at rustyquill.com. Join our communities on the forum via the website or on Reddit at r slash the Magnus Archives. Thanks for listening.